My name's Taylor Sharp, I'm 23 years old, and I'm a freelance graphic designer, photographer, videographer, 3D artist from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. My current work is fairly broad. I work with two companies, Blindmice Design and Retail Experience Design. Blindmice Design offers services such as branding, marketing, mainly in the exhibition area for museums. Retail Experience Design offer interior design solutions in a retail environment and I'm brought along as a brand specialist to deal with their branding, marketing, wayfinding, anything that will help the overall aesthetic from a graphic design point of view. It all started when I was quite young, when I was about 13 years old. I was really into art and design. The next step up for me was to take that digital. I got a laptop for Christmas and one Christmas I was actually doodling on this laptop in Illustrator. My auntie saw that I was um, designing and she made a comment such as, oh, that's what my designers use in the studio. This got me thinking, wow, people actually do this for a job. That's something that I want to aspire to do. At the time, it was simple things such as designing the kits for my favorite football team and then designing a new logo for them. I jumped at the opportunity to go and work for her in the studio in Covent Garden. Turns out she owned a design company called Smack Agency, who are a social media, advertising, marketing, creative agency. They're working with big brands such as Aston Martin and Ted Baker. Because of this experience, the three or four years, every two weeks in the summer spent there, it fueled that passion for design. I geared all of my subjects at school into being focused towards getting that interview nailed at university, leading that into becoming a designer in the future. Now, my university interview comes along, I thought, this is gonna be easy, I'm gonna ace it. I'd focus my schooling, I had a large body of design-based work ready to present, and the tutor's response was a little flat. It was a bit, what else do you have? This was heartbreaking for me as I'd worked so hard up until that point. However, I'd carried around a, a sketchbook full of design ideas, um, competition wins, which I used to do online, all crudely placed together in sort of a black portfolio book. This won them over. They were completely outstanding by this work and they knew that I could be relied on at university to produce some great work. From this, I actually got an unconditional offer into Coventry University. This was the first stage of my design life. It was the build up to becoming a more professional worker. At university, we get to choose a sort of module of our interest. You can choose a, a language, you can choose mathematics, your physics, but I decided to further enhance my skills. I wanted to choose something that was relevant to why I was there. I chose the Advantage module Illustrator. The Illustrator course in the first year is very similar to how the competition is actually laid out. You get a brief, you complete it over the eight weeks, and then you present to the class and you're graded on your proficiency in the software, how will you present, things like this. Almost an introduction to the more advanced taking the exam in the second year. In the second year, I decided to do Illustrator again, which meant I could take the exam and actually become certified. For my two years in Illustrator, I was taught by Nigel Hopkins, an incredible illustrator. Because he saw my proficiency in the software, he knew me throughout the first year, he saw how I could work, he saw me present, and in the second year he saw my exam results and how well I performed. He actually offered me a job to work with him over the summer in his studio with his business partner, Selena. I thought if this is what one qualification could do, imagine two more. <laughs> so the two other courses that were offered at my university were InDesign and Photoshop. 
The InDesign course is what got me into the national championships. And further on from that was the world championships two years ago in Florida. After all the wonder of the competitions and the studying at university, it was time to be released into the big wide world. I decided at that point, being a freelance graphic designer was the best option for myself. I was in the studio a lot for Blind Mice Design. As a shared studio, it gave me the opportunity to get in contact with Dean and then work for Retail Experience Design. And having two core contacts who are going to give you consistent work who are already established as big companies was beneficial for me as it gave me more security. I could then take smaller design jobs alongside this. Before deciding on being a freelance designer, I wanted to dip my toes in the water. I wanted to see what the job market was like. I had quite a few interviews and I actually applied for jobs which were a bit outside of my experience bracket. Because I had that confidence from having these qualifications that I knew not many people were going to have, I would stand out. Normally, as someone straight out of university, I wouldn't have been considered. I'd like to bring this back to my interview at university. I had a large body of good, concise, clear work, but it lacked that 10%. It lacked what pushed me over the edge and made me stand out from everyone else. I feel this was the same with those job interviews. If I didn't have that certification, I might not have been considered, especially with my experience. But because I had them, employers knew that they didn't need to train me. They knew that I had industry standards and I was going to be a reliable member of a team. That 10%, which was my sketchbook in my interview, was my certifications on my CV. If you can take anything away from my experience, it would be to jump at every single opportunity you're given and create your own opportunities as well. I jumped to do work experience over the summer with my auntie. I jumped to the opportunity to work for Nigel and Selena. And I also hunted down those qualifications and got as many as I possibly could in my time at university. Mm -hmm.